Hey everybody, welcome back. We are still jamming on some engines here. Uh, I didn't realize that there was going to be so much backlash on that Chinese block video. But um, a lot of people apparently like those Chinese blocks. And uh, who knows? You know, I don't mind what you guys do, but uh, I hate to see people lose a lot of money when they buy one of those. But uh, anyway, I'm still waiting on some uh, metallurgy reports from a, a dude down in uh, Australia that swears that the Chinese blocks have better um, material in them. So, uh, read the comments and check that guy out. He's a little, uh, he's a little wacky. Anyway, Tom's block here. And I just set the sleeves in there. Uh, I think you can pick it up and see the sleeve right there. Right there there and there now the block is still warm I had this block by the uh, wood stove uh, for a few hours this morning had the sleeves in the freezer but they pressed in perfectly uh, block is actually still warm so I'm not going to do any machining on it right now uh, we're gonna let the, that block grip those sleeves good uh, two and a half thousandths press fit throughout and um, those will seal the block up nice and won't be a problem so again my preference is to save these original blocks and uh, apparently um, people don't want to do the same but uh, this is one saved block and uh, I know that the, the the content of the cast iron here uh, the high nickel that they use in these is far superior to the uh, Chinese stuff that practically warm when it gets here and the core is shifting and, and nothing but trouble with those but a lot of guys like to shoot their mouth off and say how great they are but uh, had a bunch of them through here and uh, you saw what happened with that last one and uh, it's just crazy so Tom your block is saved uh, when this cools down uh, we'll get to uh, boring the perfect size for standard pistons and uh, let's go over and check out another block that I'm saving instead of trying to find a Chinese block for okay guys here we are saving a MB block uh, this is Jonathan's block and I'm just starting the stitching process right here um, I think I've got about, let's take a measurement there. Yeah, about three and a half inches to stitch up. Uh, I don't care to weld them. Uh, if you guys like to weld them, that's fine. Uh, I know a lot of guys like to use JB Weld on those. Uh, again, uh, you could do whatever you like. I prefer to stitch them. And it's a permanent fix. It's not, you know, you're not waiting for the JB Weld to blow off and you're not waiting for another crack if you don't completely heat soak the entire block before you weld it you will have cracks elsewhere uh, but it's just the nature of cast iron if you're not familiar with cast iron I, I certainly re recommend stitching and I'm not gonna show the whole process you see the beginning and you see the end and we'll overlap pins the whole way through I've shown this plenty of times before um, you could check out some older videos and uh, I'm sure there'll be guys that say they use bubble gum on these and it works fine and I'm, I'm going too far with this but like I say um, seems to be a whole lot of armchair warriors out there that do nothing but type and don't actually do anything um, you know if you make some off comments sure would be great to see your shop and how you rebuild engines but I know that won't ever happen so we'll get Jonathan's block stitched up and uh, continue on with some other engines and uh, save all the original blocks that we can. So I'll be back in a little bit and show you the progress.
Okay guys, all the stitching is done. Uh, I did not pressure test this block yet, but I'm, I'm confident it's going to pass the pressure test. Uh, I did start ordering parts for this engine because we're going to get going on it. Uh, it's 30 right now, and it's so bad in number two. Uh, I know we're going to need to sleeve this one. Uh, we have abandoned this Chinese block on Brian's engine, and uh, I'm going to take a look and see what I have for L head blocks that are in pretty decent shape. And uh, but I might be looking for a block, and uh, we're just chipping away at the rest of them and uh, and making things happen. So uh, engine works kind of busy. Uh, crank grinder and uh, block master. Uh, I got word are uh, getting loaded on the truck uh, Friday or Saturday of this week. Uh, I should have those. I don't know. I imagine in a week or so. Uh, they're on the way in. I still got some cleaning to do in here, but at the same time, I'm trying to get projects done. And uh, I will show you when that stuff comes in. We'll get it unloaded. We'll get it situated in here, and uh, we can start working on crankshafts and uh, deck the blocks and the heads a lot easier than we're doing on the milling machine. So there's a lot going on, but uh, we're just going to end this one here. Just wanted to show you uh, Tom's sleeves and uh, John's stitching and uh, just want to uh, show you what can be done to save these old blocks I know a lot of machine shops shy away from sleeving blocks now I don't know why and uh, not many of them will uh, fix cracks but uh, I'm saving as many as I can and uh, hope everybody appreciates that okay thanks everybody for watching catch you on the next one